Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the series Shaft Laser. We're going to be showing today how to add a loading indicator like a spinning progress in a custom view item. So we have done uh, videos before about how to integrate a custom view item and actually we have integrated like that, a lot of custom control. So let's get to it pretty much. If we have a custom view item that we, for example, have a button and we're going to do some long operation and we have to click and show that uh, load, loading indicator. So Shaft for that has this uh, JavaScript function that is a uh, loading indicator dot show and loading indicator dot high. So pretty much here, what we're going to do is integrate that and call the GS runtime to invoke those methods. So let's see it in action. We have here our custom view item and we have our render and in your render you see we have the button and pretty much the button just call the event button click and here we are calling the loading indicator show doing some type of operation. If you see here, pretty much we're just uh, putting the thread to sleep for a little bit just to, to simulate a long time operation and then we're hiding that loading indicator. But that's pretty much it. The other thing is, of course, as always, come to your detail view, add your custom view item, and you're good to go. You will have that custom view item inside your detail view. So let's run it and see it in action. And these are a lot of, that's why, uh, reading the source code of SAF is really good because there are a lot of undocumented JavaScript method, undocumented uh, ways to do with things that if you just pay attention and also if you read the support center, you will get a lot of value out of it. So let's wait for a little bit until it loads. Okay, so let's open. Let's create a new one so we see it. And now we have here the, the bottom of our custom view item. If we click on it, it will show the loading indicator, wait for a little bit, and then hide it. Let's give it a second. And the great thing is that it's using the same loading indicator that SAF used for everything else. So if we just save, if you just are opening a list view, that is the same loading indicator. So you have a completely integrated your solution. So that will be all for this video. See you in the next one, and thanks for watching.